And in this video, I'm gonna install a simple glass door system. That's a great way to finish off any bathroom renovation, especially when you got a wall that pops like that. So if you've done a bathroom renovation and you've got a gorgeous stone that you installed, the last thing you wanna do is hang a curtain. Here we go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you the steps for installing a glass door. Now this isn't just any glass door, this is a simple one. <laughs> this seems like there's a lot of things on the market that are designed to help you spend your money. And this one's not one of them. This is designed for functionality. And it is really simple. It's a 40 inch door that has one little fixed panel and it hinges so you can open and close it. It's got a towel bar. What else does a person want? Best part about a door like this, it's only a couple hundred bucks and it's not that heavy so you can carry it yourself and you don't need to call three or four friends to help you lug it up the stairs. So step one is to remove all of the parts from the packaging, get them sorted out and understand where and what everything is. Be careful with this, you don't want to be in a hurry. There's always a lot of tape, it's a lot of plastic. Not everything plastic in a shower door kit is garbage. Some of it is actually trim parts that are really crucial to functionality. When you take out a piece like this, it's a great time to grab some of this foam that came with the packaging. Use this, like little blocks, to set on the ground. If you're gonna set it up against a wall so that your glass isn't on top of the stone or something like that. This is tempered glass, but if you set it on something that doesn't have any mercy, it will break quite easily. So I'm going to set this one inside here for now. Okay, <laughs> so already I'm in love. <laughs> Having a quick look through the installation instructions. Yep, that's it. Nothing like simple, eh? I love it already. Okay, ha la la la. I'm just going to familiarize myself with the process. No big secret there. Got it. Good. Nice, nice, nice. Piece of cake. Wow, that's awesome. So this is eight steps. Let's go through the steps together. Now I imagine all of the doors that are like this, there's similar styles available. Some of them are as low as $130 on Amazon. And uh, we'll put some links in the description to those products as well for you. But they're simple, they're six mil glass, so they're not that heavy. You can buy eight or 10 mil glass, but man, that stuff gets really heavy. They all install basically the same. You need to have an ability to have a nice level line Hopefully your tub is somewhat level as well. And after that, just a couple of adjustments and we're done. So here's the workhorse. This little piece here does all the job. What it has is it has three positions pre-drilled. And this goes up against the wall over here. Okay. You want to level it, mark your spots, drill your holes. Ideally, you've installed your tub with wood in behind this corner. That's a pretty standard installation nowadays. If you don't, then you're going to have a little bit of difficulty getting a good seal. But you can always use a structural silicone on the back in conjunction with your screws. Okay? And then let that set up and cure for 48 hours before you hang the rest of the glass panel. That makes it a two or three day process. But if you don't have wood behind your wall, let this set and cure before you put any weight on it. So this is one of these situations where it's good to know the end before you start. This metal piece here that's attached to the fixed panel will slide into this track. Okay? And so there are little holes on one side here. These holes are facing inside the tub. So when you're done, you can attach the set screws to hold everything nice and level. So make sure you don't install this the wrong way or you'll be kicking yourself later. So here's one of these situations where it's nice to have a laser level. If you haven't got one yet, there's gonna be a link in the description for this fire core level. Well, they have a version that does just a simple cross line. It's only 60 bucks, so if you need one, it's a great place to get it. It's from our Amazon store. Now, we just use a black marker here. There's three holes that are in the back of this trim. And you just want to put a mark on your tile so you can draw those out. It's that simple. The laser line lets you make this nice and plumb within one thousandth of an inch. It's brilliant. Here we go. So we're just using a simple glass and tile bit. Nothing too extravagant. I like to work with ceramic tile, not porcelain, just for this purpose. Now, if you've seen my other glass door installation video, you would have seen us fighting with what, like one of the most brutally hard porcelains ever. It was a, 
It was a full slider track style door. So if you want to check that, I will put that link in the description as well. But this is so much easier. Just push and go. Is that? Nope, it's not through the other layer yet. There we go. <laughs> Boom. I'm just going to make sure that I hit the wood. All right, so just a little tip from me to you. Not everybody calls for this, but if you take your sealant and you run a bead right down the middle of the back of this track, what it's gonna give you, and I mean a nice healthy bead around the screw holes, it'll hold it against the wall when you're trying to screw it in. But more importantly, let me just get adjusted. It will close up the gaps that appear in tile work, especially from grout lines and give you a nice seal on the back here so you don't have to use silicone on the chrome to the tile afterwards because that always looks messy. Okay, nice big dollop at the bottom. Now we're going to just set this where it goes and line up my hole. Nice and gentle push. Boom. Okay. <clears throat> So much easier to work like that, isn't it? Uh, that's a noisy drill. Okay, now, before I tighten it up, I want to put my laser level on that again. Just to make sure that I'm plumb. And we are, there we go. Now you want to make sure that you have really solid contact here, but you don't want to over tighten because you know, this is still just chrome trim and those screws are going into wood. If it pulls off the wall at all, get another little tug. I am loving that. Okay, good to go. Looks like the top and bottom are exactly the same here, so that's good. What we're gonna do is we are going to rock this in because this whole piece goes inside this track. And if you start off with just a small little piece like that, then you can rock it in place. Nice and gentle. Don't be too aggressive here because don't want to break the glass. Okay. Now you'll see that this wall is not plumb to the tub. And that's what this is. It's a, about a quarter inch up to nothing. Okay. So if you close it at the top, you're fine. This is designed for that adjustment to happen for your plumb and level. So don't be concerned if it doesn't go all the way in. The last thing you want to do is push it tight and leave a gap across the bottom. Okay. That requires a lot of silicone. So leave it sturdy, sitting flush to the tub, and then slide it in where it's comfortable. Don't force the issue. Whew, nice. So when you're reading the instructions, it gives you the general feel. And you may have enough information if you've done installations like this before. But in a lot of cases, what you want to do is take all of these little parts out of the plastic bags and then kind of go through the installation in your mind even dry fit everything, make sure you understand where everything goes. Because these things are reversible, a lot of times you'll have twice as many parts as you need because they'll have the left and the right hand version of everything. So it can be a little frustrating. So here we go. Let's figure this out. So, okay, so this is my lubricant because this is a hinge system. All right, so that's good to know. Boom, boom, that makes some sense. Ah, there we are. Okay, so it's there. Okay. Mm. 
Well, now that I'm familiar with the parts, I know exactly what I'm getting into. Uh, it basically comes across as being a simple process, but it may not be as easy as I think. One thing, whew, thank goodness I've got clearance. This little part gets screwed on after the fact, but it comes assembled. Because it's reversible, they don't know what the top or the bottom is. So once you get your thing installed, you need to remove the two screws that are up here and pull this trim off. Thank God. Okay, that's going to work. I mean, this thing is, it's seated in this trim and it's totally encapsulating that glass. So you don't want to be too aggressive with it. There we go. So we have that now. This is all starting to make some sense. Now the secret here is in the preparation because we need to have lubrication in both of these hinge points. Ah, nice. I'm not sure what they suggest I use to get that out of there, but that looks just nasty. Looks like they're just using, uh, yeah, just a petroleum jelly. <laughs> and I don't want to see a bunch of comments in the comment section about how I'm an expert with my petroleum jelly, all right? <laughs> I'm going to do this from inside the shower. All right. Instructions tell me that I'm supposed to put that in here and the groove should be this way because the bottom of the door is wedged like this and that's to make sure that it sits in there really nicely. These I'm going to need. This I need handy. Okay. I'm going to do all this in one motion. <laughs> All righty. Now. This is where having the black plastic on the glass mat this is where this comes in really handy. Having that cap on here protects the tub from the glass until you get this anchored in position. Okay. Now we're going to lift this up and set this into the gasket. And then wedge it all in place. That's nice. This is going to pull off the wall, but that's fine. Let's just keep the assembly together. Now we got to get these screws back in. Every door system that I've ever done can have its own level of real tricky involved. Good to have a little step stool because you really want to see where you're putting that screw. And like anytime you're screwing something, start in reverse and wait till it seats. Okay, nice and easy. Do not over tighten this stuff. Chances are the screws are a very soft metal. And if you use too much torque, they'll just rip in half and then you're done. Okay, perfect. Now there are three self-tapping screws and these are designed to go through the metal on that trim. And they come with these wonderful little plastic cups here. And the idea is you put the screw inside of it, then you drill through and then after you're done, you can use this decorative chrome cap to snap in place. So these parts are all very important. Don't lose them. <laughs> My recommendation is, is that you lift this glass to put this panel back in its original position. Remember, it was nice and tight against the bottom of the tub because the door itself is going to have a plastic strip we're going to put on in just a minute. And that's going to create the seal against the tub. So the most important is to make sure that we are solid. And this panel here needs to be tight to the tub. So love Phillips screws. Work with that here. And good. 
And again, really easy with the pressure, because if you slip off, you could break the glass. All right. <sighs> okay. Got it. All right, now that's anchored, we can use the door. The hinge is in place. We have too much lubrication squeezing out. We'll get that out of here now. <laughs> okay, so before we go in and set the other screws, we're gonna finish installing all of this stuff. So the profile of this gasket is set for, go in the glass down here. Okay. And we're gonna just press this in place. Woohoo! That's right. Not everything is installed yet. Hmm. That gives us a nice seal on the tub. Now, if in your situation it's not closing properly, you can always take the edge of this plastic and you can push it down off the glass just a little bit because it's Got, it's actually got a lot of glass in this track. So you can actually push this down a little bit. Make sure you got solid contact with your tub. There's nothing worse than having a gasket that doesn't keep the water out. <laughs> okay. Next step is to install the brace. Okay, so make sure that your door is where you want it on the tub ledge. Got it. You set this on the glass and it has a gasket built into it so it won't scratch or damage anything. Now the reason you want your door open is so that you can stand on your tub. So this is an easy installation. Okay. So what we're going to do is just eyeball something that looks pretty darn sweet. Okay. I like it. Mm -hmm. And we're back. Now. Tape measure, please. <laughs> I love a tape measure that has a rubber end on it. Ah, this is a perfect hammer for putting plastic things up against tile. <laughs> now we have to take off the arm so we can install this, and then we mount this after. Nice. Okay, now we'll attach it at the wall nice and firm. Okay, and then, then we're gonna tighten it to the glass, but we're gonna close the door first, throw the laser level back on it, make sure everything is standing upright. So in this situation, what I wanna do is set a light up that is going straight up the wall. There we go. So what I'm looking for is a laser line that is the same one inch there, one inch up here, and it should be perfect, it is. But now we want to, what I want to do is go here, and it's reading inch and a quarter. <laughs> so we know that this is not plumb. So we're gonna go like this now, and pull this door, there we go, pull this to one inch, just like the rest of it. So we want to set the base of the door Same depth from the line is here because my line is coming right across the profile of the tub. And that's how I'm going to keep everything square. Now I have three points of contact that are one inch. Both ends of that are attached to the wall and the base of this. So now I'm going to set this panel at one inch and all I do for that is give it a little bit of a tug. I am one and an eighth, I'm one inch, okay? So when I tighten up my glass, I'm gonna pull this arm this way and give it a bit of a tug and then tighten. All right. 
right? And we're just going to set our set screw. Okay. Again, we're tightening this screw against the glass, and this is just for stability, so don't over tighten. And then we're going to tighten our screw up here as well. There we go. Now this is nice and rigid. And what that's going to do, perfect. It's just going to give us a lot more structural stability for this hinged operate, so this panel isn't flopping around when you open and close. There we go. Perfect. Every time I think it's the same. <laughs> so now we're just going to set this. Make sure that you have one of these plastic washers on each side of the glass when you're tightening on your handles. And just do it finger tight for now. Again, go backwards until you feel it sit in. There we go. Nice and tight. Hand tight. Now, it's going to come with a little Allen key, and you're going to see. You see this little hole here? Okay, that's designed so that you can put your key in there and then finish the tightening. Nice and snug with it. That way you don't have to use a wrench on it. The point is, is that by doing it this way, you get great leverage and you can tighten that up perfectly snug. That's basically the end of our install. Uh, all that's left is clear silicone and the other two screws. All right, so we're just gonna finish installing those other two set screws. the most nerve-wracking part of the job. I've had so many of these things break on me over the years. And then you gotta drill them out and then you gotta go to the store and buy a, just a little bit bigger set screw. If you have a good set of drill bits, it would not hurt to pre-drill the hole. <laughs> and then you don't have to be quite so paranoid. But I left my drill bits at home today, so I'm gonna do this paranoid. Don't be in a hurry is all I can say. Three for three, that's a miracle. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Last step is just to take your clear silicone and put a nice bead across the bottom. There we go. And get right up to the very front of this mount. There we go. And then don't touch the door for 24 hours. <laughs> Whew. There we go. There we go. Guys, give us a thumbs up. Ask questions in the comment section below. We're here to help. We'll see you next time.